The truth is, I miss y'all. I miss getting on here, talking to y'all. I miss filming. I miss showing y'all my boring everyday life. So we're gonna get back to that. Um, I am currently carless because I was paying three hundred dollars a week for a car, and I ain't got it. I ain't got it. I'd rather save that money up and just buy me a car flat out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm stacking up my little money right now. And I'm going to just flat out buy me a car, which would be the smart thing to do. Um, if anybody is watching this and it's just like, you know what, let me just go on and give her $10,000, buy her a car and let her have a little leftover. That would be awesome. Um, <laughs> but seriously, in the meantime, in between time, I'm on the bus, I'm on the train, and that's and I'm walking. That's just how we doing it until I get what I need. Let me back up. I'm all close. But yeah, y'all. Um, I braided my hair. Y'all know I'm very talented. I can do a little something, something. So I got these braids in because I just really got tired of doing my hair every day. Even though I've been putting on a hat because this hair is like itchy and I rushed too. But y'all, let me go to the gym because I have to be out of here by 12 o'clock to get on this train by 12.15 and be at work by 1.30. So let me hurry up. It's 9 o'clock right now. I want to at least work out for an hour, come back and get dressed. I want to film content for the lip bar because they sent me some goodies. I'll show you that when I get back from the gym. Um, but... Yeah, y'all. I'm trying to just living alone in Los Angeles, trying to make it, and we are gonna make it. Believe that. Topping up the mess, drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe, spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. All right, all right, all right. We are home from the gym. I didn't do any cardio today um, because when I went in there, there was somebody on my Peloton, Peloton, Peloton. So I was like, you know what? Let me do a little weight training. So I just did a little weight training and I did not set my camera up to get the weight training part. I just showed y'all afterwards, but I did a little bit of boom, boom, a little bit of whoo. Then I did a little bit of bringing it out, squatting the weight. Um, what else did I do? I don't remember what else did I do. Oh, I did a little squat, raise it up, boo. Squat down, come back up. I did a little lunge back, raise it up. I did that. Um, and now I'm about to make me some ramen, which is actually endo me. I'm gonna make you some endo me. I made it last night and I'm gonna make it again tonight when I get home. That's just what I've been eating. It's quick, easy, and cheap. Uh, so let me wash my little pot because I didn't wash my pots last night. But it's only two pots in here, so let me get to washing my little pots. But. Cleo Soul in the gym. I love Cleo Soul. I have been so hooked on her, and I think I've been hooked on her because she talks about God in her music. She makes positive music, and I really enjoy listening to that. So that's what I've been listening to. A little bit of Why don't you know that go? Hey. Um, but yes, I really haven't been doing a little bit of nothing. I did a, um, I'm going to tell y'all once I cut this water off. Let me, let me wash this stuff, y'all, real quick. Let me wash this stuff real quick. Don't 
dress for so long So stuck in my own way So I'll enjoy this moment It's the day that the Lord has Okay. This is what I've been cooking, y'all. I've been making Indomie. Focus, focus, focus. Indomie. This is the onion flavor. It's cool. I really honestly like the barbecue chicken flavor the best. Actually, I'm going to do the regular. The regular flavor. This is the regular flavor. It's like a dollar a pack. Like a dollar twenty nine for this whole thing, y'all. A dollar twenty nine for this whole thing. Back come in a pack. And to y'all what I was gonna tell y'all okay but what I was gonna tell y'all is I did a three day they call it the Esther fast three days no food and no water 70, 72 hours no food no water y'all let me tell y'all and I did that because I just wanted to you know, just get closer to God. I wanted to only solely lean on God, not food, not water, not people, not the world. I wanted to solely lean on the Lord. And that is what I did. I, when I would get up in the morning, I would just read my devotionals. I would pray. I would journal if I felt like it. I would watch sermons. Um, I would read my Bible, you know do things like that and the first day that I did it I felt pretty good during the day you know I kind of got a little hungry but uh, now nah, it was too many days I kind of got a little hungry but it wasn't like nothing too crazy I got a little hungry, but it wasn't nothing too crazy, like nothing that I could not get through. But y'all, let me just tell y'all how the devil works. So when I got home from work, I worked 1 30 to 9 30. So I came home, prayed, read my Bible, and I got in the bed. So probably about like 1 30 in the morning, I woke up sweating, like in a complete sweat. And so I hopped up out of the bed, and the first thought in my mind was, you need to go and drink something. Go and drink some water. Go and eat something. Because you're going to die. And I was like, no, nah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I, am, I am not listening to the devil. So I went out on my balcony and I sat down and I just started praying. And I was asking God, like, God, give me your strength to continue this fast. Give me your strength to get through this fast. And I had my phone with me and I said, whatever. I went to the Bible app and I said, whatever scripture I'll uh, land on is a scripture that I need to read and it's going to help me and fill me up. Y'all, why did I land on the scripture in Matthew where Jesus was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights and the devil was up on that hill with him trying to get him to eat? I'm just like, you cannot tell me that God is not real. You cannot tell me that God is not real. You cannot tell me that God is not going to get us to whatever it is that we are going through, we are facing because he faced, Jesus was human. Jesus faced the same troubles and stuff that we faced. He was just filled with God 
And, you know, he is God, so he was able to just maneuver around in a different little way. But I'm like, if we just lean on him, we can maneuver around here the same way. So I was like, what in the world? For me to land on that scripture, for me to read that specific scripture where he was, Jesus was fasting and the devil was tempting him. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to, I just started saying, devil, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Get up out of my house. Get up out of my mind. Get up out of this. You have nothing to do with this fast. This is between me and Jesus. And I went right back to sleep and had a wonderful, peaceful sleep and woke up the next day ready to do it again. And the second day was, it was a tough day. It was, a, it was really, really tough. I pushed through, though, you know, I just, throughout the day, I just kept saying, Lord, give me your strength to get through this fast. Because what I realized was, or what my friend Chantel made me realize was that Esther and them, they were not working while they were fasting. They were sitting down praying and they were able to just you know kind of chill out a little bit but I still had to get up and go to work so it was a little you know a little hard because I'm like I still have to get up and move around and drive and deal with people you know during this fast so it was it was just tough but I made it through y'all I got through the fast the third day was the hardest day but it was so rewarding for me because I'm like, I'm doing it. You know, I'm, I'm getting through this. The Lord really gave me the strength to get through it. And I just started, I was just excited. I was just super excited because I'm like, I, cannot, I would have never in my life thought, that I would get through a 72 hour, no food, no water. Now, I can do no water with ease, you know? I can do no water. That ain't nothing. Doing no water, I mean, I, mean, I can do no food. Drinking water, that's cool because anytime that I felt like I was going to, when I have fasted in the past, when I felt like I was going to eat something, I would just drink water. But doing no water, y'all, you really have to just lean on God. You really have to just lean on God when you go through your fast. And so during the fast, I was just asking God, like, I would, I would like to have clarity you know, on my career, what are my next steps? Like what, why am I here in LA without my family, without my son? Like, why am I here? Because I truly know God has me here in LA for a reason. I'm here to do something, to complete something. I'm just here for something. So, you know, I'm like, I need to stop questioning why I'm here and find out the reason why I am here, you know? So I was just asking for clarity for that. And after this fast, y'all, I got a lot of clarity. And I realized that sometimes you have to go back to your roots and things that you used to do. Um, because now you are a different person. You know, things that used to used to enjoy and things that kind of got you where you are today. You know? You kind of have to go back to those things. And it's not saying that you're going backwards. It's just like you a new person. So your perspective is different on things. Your The way that you're going to do things is different. So I just realized like, wow, I already know what to do. I already have everything that I need to complete what I need to complete. It's just up to me. To complete it, you know, sometimes we feel like we've outgrown certain things, and we have for the most part, but, or we could feel like, I've already done that, I should be at the next level doing this, but sometimes you have to go back to square one to get back to square nine or square ten, you know, you might go back to square one and then God is like, okay, I see what you did, I see you, I see you working, I see you humbling yourself, and then he'll skip you to step 20. It's just up to us to just get out of our, our own heads, you know? So, anyway, the fast was very, very good. I realized a lot. I, um, it was, it was a good fast. 
And I'm so happy that I did it. And funny enough, funny enough, while I was doing my fast, I kept on coming. Oh, and I also did a social media fast too. So I didn't get, I was on YouTube, but I didn't get on TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, none of that. But on YouTube, because I was watching sermons and stuff, there was this girl that popped up. Her name is like Valerie Rodriguez or something like that. I have to put her in. I'll put it right here. But she was talking about the Esther Fest. At this time, I was on my, I was on day two. And they were just about to start. She was like getting a group of women together to like start the Esther Fest. Because she does it. But they drank water during the Esther Fest. Speaking of water. Let me get a little sip. But they drank water during the Esther Fest. But she was just explaining, like, you know, the benefits of it and how she was the first time she did it and how it blessed her, how it helped her, and just some of the, like, things that she did while she was fasting. And I'm like, look at God. Showing me that I'm not alone. Showing me that I'm not the only one fasting. I'm not the only one trying to seek answers. I'm not the only one seeking him. There is a community of us. And it just feels good to know that. So I did reach out to her and she was very supportive and just, you know, cheering me on. And she was so happy that somebody else was doing the fast too. So yeah, it's just, it was just cool. It was really cool. I'm happy that I did it. I plan on doing another one this time. I ain't telling nobody cause I did tell, you know, my friends like, Hey y'all, I'm fasting. Um, just because, I, you know, you like that support. But this time, I want to fast, and I don't want to tell nobody that I'm fasting because that's what the Bible says to fast and not, you know, tell nobody while you're fasting that you're fasting. So I want to do it again, and this time I want to fast and not tell nobody that I'm fasting. But it was such a good experience. I'm happy that I did it. I'm excited to do it again. This time I might drink water. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. It was, I'm, I was excited. It was such a, it was wonderful. It was truly wonderful. And God is so freaking good. God is so good. And then it did kind of seem like, um, after I fast, I would say like maybe like a week later, I just, it was, I don't know, man. It just seemed like the devil when the devil sees that you are making plays towards getting closer to God, you are cause you are connected to source, he's going to try his best to come in and rip you from that source and bring you where he is because misery loves company and the devil is miserable. But it's up to you to be like, look, leave me alone. You know, he will play tricks on your mind to make you feel like you are not worthy enough to do what it is you're called to do. He'll play tricks on your mind to make you feel like you're not equipped enough to do what it is you gotta do. And you are. God will give us the strength. God will give us his strength to get through, to endure anything. You know, all we have to do is call on him. And I saw a, um, a woman, she said she's, you know, she's happy that God gives us you know, his strength to get through things in life. But she said she's been praying for ease. And I'm like, Lord, that's what I want. Give me ease. Give me ease, Lord. Please give me ease. That's what I want. I want a little bit of ease. You know, I, I got strength and everything. And I'm grateful that you give us your strength and everything. But make it a little bit a little easier for me. Because... I'm just a lady, I'm just a little woman, you know? <laughs> so it's like, Lord, I'm just a little lady. But I'm excited, you know? God is doing wonderful things in all of our lives and it's just good to see. And make sure y'all, when you see God doing something for somebody close to you, don't get jealous, don't get upset, don't feel like, God, why not me, why not me? Because they say, honey, when God is doing something to somebody closest to you, he's in the neighborhood. So he's going to be knocking on your door next. Just make sure you there to answer the door and open up and let him in. Woo! That was a word. <laughs> but seriously, oh, I'm going to chop my noodles and play. 
Oh, I would have been devastated if I dropped these in the sink. Oh, I would have been devastated. Y'all, I'm on time. I'm on time. I'm on time. Try these noodles out a little bit. If I'm saying I'm eating ramen, this is what it looks like. If I say I'm eating noodles, this is what it looks like. I've been so consistent with taking my vitamins, y'all. So now I've been taking the Certified Organic Whole Food Multivitamin Women's One Day Once Daily Supplement. It got all this stuff in it, y'all. All of this stuff. And it's organic, so let me go ahead and get one out. It's absolutely gross. It's a chewable vitamin that you're supposed to eat with food. I like to eat it when I'm down to the last drop because I don't want to taste this in my food. But let me just take it because I'll be forgetting to take it. And I got to be out of here in an hour. I got to be out of here in an hour. So let me eat, y'all. And I got to shower, do my makeup. <sighs> Just do things, you know? I got things to do. I got things to do. That's just how we roll. You know what it is? What it is? How we roll. You know what it is? What is it? That's just how we roll. Ooh. Oh, what it is? If you never had Indomie, get you some Indomie. It has a seasoning pack, like dried onions, or like a dried onion pack. It has like chili, like a little chili sauce in one pack. Then it has like some oil seasoning in one pack. Just delicious. And I put these little vegetables in there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Fry me up a little egg up in there. Let me get it to go. Y'all. Remember I was just telling y'all about the girl who was talking about the Estefaz while I was going on my while I was doing my Estefaz. I get on TikTok. She's the first post that's on my TikTok. Look at this message, y'all. If you're not willing to be prepared, you need to stop asking God for things. If my son came up to me right now and was like, hey, mom, I want to go to the pool, I'd be like, sure, and I would start preparing him. I'd put on his trunk, so his floaty on, spraying with sunscreen. Now, the time it takes to prepare and how I prepare him is going to be completely different based on what he's asking me. Now, if he said, hey, mom, I want to go to SeaWorld. Now, you're trying to go somewhere that's in a completely different city. Now, there's more details to consider. Now, I got to look at time. When do we have the time to go from Fort Worth to San Antonio? Who would we stay with? Are you? really ready for the preparation it's going to take for you to get what you are asking for if you are asking for the spouse the kingdom spouse and the financial freedom and the breaking of strongholds like a good parent like a loving father he will make sure it makes sense if it does he will take care of you and you will get what you're asking for at the end if during the preparation process of getting my son in the pool into sea world he did nothing but just ask questions and complain. Well, why can't I wear these floaties? Why do I need sunscreen? Me and him would have spent so much just unnecessary time going over the details of something I already know how to take care of. I already know how to get him to the pool. I already know how to get him to San Antonio. It's not about not getting him there, not knowing how to get him there. It's about I have his best interest at heart, so I'm trying to prepare him in the best way. We could have been at the pool 10 minutes ago, but instead we were just sitting here going back and forth about why you need sunscreen. Pay attention to what you're asking and start appreciating how God is preparing you. If you're not willing to be Woo! What's that not a word? Let me finish eating my ramen, y'all. That was a word. All right, y'all. <laughs> we going to work. Look at this lip. It is the Lip Bar Boss Lady 
and who's calling me? The Lip Bar Boss Lady and the Lip Bar Boss Lady and Night Moth. Why are you crying? Riley got a rap for school bus this year. Harry Soul? She can ride the school bus. He's a baby. Harry, she is a big girl. That girl can ride the school bus. Do you know how many times, you know how old he was when he was riding the school bus? But she's just in school by herself, like. Harry, she's gonna be fine, trust me. We will pray over her every day. She's gonna be okay. She's a big girl. You can't be keeping her a baby. She ain't no baby. That's gonna be so scary. They be losing people's kids and shit. I don't got time. They're not gonna lose her. We don't gotta worry about that. Amari was three riding the bus by himself. She will be fine. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. Good, Harry. You need all of this. Mm, I'm just overwhelmed. Yeah, but don't be sad. She'll be fine. Alright. Alright, love you, bye. Love you. My sister crying because her daughter has to ride the school bus this year. Oh Lord, my my y'all. I ain't, um hold on. I'm doing too many things at one time. Wait a second. Let me tell. I'm coming down now. Coming down. Elevator now. Thank you so much. Okay, y'all. So I am ready for work. About to go to work. I got on my little jeans, just a little top, and uh, I'm headed out to work. I don't have on nothing that I'm supposed to be wearing to work, but who cares? They better just be happy that I'm there. That's how I'm feeling. Be happy that I'm there. Oh, my back is hurting. My leg is hurting. But we move, y'all. We move and we go to work. We go to work. And I didn't have time to, um, Lord bless my house. Keep my house safe in Jesus' name. Amen. I didn't have time to get on the bus today because I decided to film a little makeup video and I was determined that I was going to film a little lip video for the lip bar and I did just that. So I am getting in an Uber today. <laughs> but I'll see y'all when I get in the Uber. No, you are not. Yep, 38th and Muhammad Ali. 28th and Galbert. Wow. Hecky no. What is the odds of this? <laughs> I literally live right there at that apartment complex. And yeah, I'm but like, I live right here. I, we live, we're literally around the corner from each other. Oh my gosh, how long have you been here? 11 years. I've only been here for three years. Okay, how you do you like, like it? Uh, I'm starting to like it. It takes some time. It definitely takes some it, time. You gotta, because you know why, you gotta let Louisville go. Yep. You have to let Louisville go. What, are you, what brought you out here? So, I do like influencing and stuff, but okay. of course I don't have to get a job. Okay. Because LA course. is a little tough. LA is expensive, girl. It's, yeah. not Louisville. it's really not Louisville. <laughs> People don't get that. It is not Louisville they at don't all. Get that. So I got me a job. Okay. Um, and I'm still trying to do like my social media stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I'm gonna just move to LA. I'm gonna just go on and go for it. And you took that leap. You took that leap. Mm. And it has been a journey. I know it has, because you moved like during the pandemic then. Uh-huh, like 2021. Yeah, pandemic was still kind of going on. Yep, so it's, it's different. I finally found me a church okay. last year. Where do you go? Cali Worship. <laughs> California Worship. Don't tell me you go to California Worship. <laughs> I just started going there. Shut your mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just started going there. <laughs> this is eerie. This is almost like eerie to me. Oh wow. And okay. I was gonna get on the bus today. I was I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna get I'm on the bus. I'm listening to continue on what you're saying. What? So you just started going, how long you been going there? I've been going there for a year. I started going there last June. Okay, so you, so you in it. Yep, I started so going there last June. you already joined everything? Yep, I joined okay. um, like September. Okay. September, October. How do you like it? I love my church. Okay. I'm telling you, the church is really what's keeping me. Mm-hmm. I love, love, love my church. And so I've met um, two really, really, really good women there mm -hmm. and they've become like two of my best friends here. Aww. Yep. Um, that's good. So yeah, I'm just finding my community. I feel like in LA you have to have some kind of community because I was just a loner. I have a cousin here too. Her name is Brandy. Okay. She's from Louisville also. She's been here for like four years. Okay. Um, but she's a stylist. She do her own thing. Mm -hmm. 
so I try not to be up under her too much. But wow, I cannot believe you are from Louisville. What brought you here? A fashion designer school. Wow. Mm -hmm. So fashion designer school brought me here, and um, when I graduated, I went to stay here and start my brand. So wow, I, I'm working on that right now. Uh, if you ever need a model. Yeah, oh, I'm you giving you information hands down. Like, God did not put you in my car for If no you reason. need a model, I got you. If you need social media, like, you need somebody to, like, promote your stuff, listen, I got you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dumb. I, listen, this is way too many signs for me. Like, I was being getting your information before you get out yes, of here. Yes, same. Because I cannot believe you are from a little bit. that's crazy. <laughs> this huge transition, and it's going to be like, boom. That's awesome. Yeah. I just dropped off a girl that does makeup. Like, I have yeah. information. Yeah, see, I, that's what I was doing at first in Louisville. I worked okay. at MAC. Did you? Yeah, okay. I worked at MAC for, like, seven years. Okay. Um, And then I started, like, just blowing up on Instagram, doing my own makeup and my hair and stuff. And so, then I started doing, like, celebrity makeup. Okay. And I started doing, like, work for, like, CoverGirl and Ulta and stuff like that. But I'm telling you, moving to L.A., I took, like, a year off. And when you take some time off, you got to... It takes a time getting back into That's it. True. So That's I'm true. just now getting back into it, but I'm in my season of obedience. I've been fasting. Girl, and, what yeah. I, I'm listening. I've okay. been fasting. Uh -huh. I've been just like really trying to just listen to what God is telling me to do. Yeah. Like make sure I'm hearing God's voice and not my own voice. Yeah. Yeah. That's. I think He has a lot of us there. Right he does. Because um, I thought I was crazy until I started talking to people, and they was like. That even having me on fast too. Mm -hmm. You know, waking you up in the early to mid of the night. Yep. You know, two or three in the morning, yep. four in the morning. You like, what is going on? And he was like, I'm calling my children back to myself. Yes, he is too. I've never felt God's return like I feel it now. Yes. I've never felt that before. Me too. People be saying it, oh, he's coming. He's and they say it, but I like it's weird. It's like a, it's different. It's something you can just feel. It's different. I yeah. feel, oh my gosh, it's like a, I, don't, I can't explain it. Like I feel like he's getting us ready, mm -hmm. but it's a silent thing. Yeah. Like we're so busy listening for that big trumpet, mm -hmm. but that trumpet is him tapping on something. Hey. Yep. Yeah. Get ready. Get ready. Yep. Get your life in order. Mm hmm. I ain't getting left Start behind. Fast. Yeah, like he's consecrating everybody, and I love it too. Hmm? I love it, girl. I'm like, I'm ready, Lord. I'm girl. ready to do, to do what you told me to do here on this earth. Hey, that's what I'm trying to do. He's been just giving me little bit obedient things to do, and that's all he'll give me. He's like, do this today. Yeah, I did. I was literally laying in my bed. This is what happened. I was laying in my bed. I was so tired because I had been up since I got up at three thirty, three forty, something like that. Wow girl left the house at seven came back to the house handle business came back to the house and i said i'm so tired she was like no you need to leave at 12 get out of this house at 12 so i would have never met you dang because those people led me to you wow she was like no get up get up like i know you're tired but just get up go back out and i'm like i don't <laughs> <laughs> i already know <laughs> I already know how Girl, it is. Because this is, he told me to do this. And I was like, wait a minute, what? He was like, quit your job, do Uber full time, and start your business. Wow. And I'm like, what? How Where were you working? Yo. So, y'all yeah, heard the whole interaction in the Uber. I was literally about to go get on the bus, but then something told me, no, don't get on the bus. Uber, because you're going to be late. And I got in the Uber. I didn't record the initial um, beginning of how everything happened. I was just able to record. Like, I just started recording, like, in the middle. But she was saying, like, how she lived over by where I lived at. And I was just like, I'm going to cross the street because I don't feel like being over here by these people. She was saying how she lived, like, uh, in the area she picked me up at. And I was like, when she said I live right up over here, I was like, her? And her accent was from a Louisville accent. I was like, oh. I'm like, her accent was from a Louisville accent. So, <laughs> almost fell. Her accent was from a Louisville accent. And I'm like, where are you from? 
she was like Louisville Kentucky where you from and I'm like I'm from Louisville Kentucky so then that just started a whole conversation I'm just like oh okay now enough Lord some of this stuff you just cannot make up like we're literally all on the same like journey like God is calling all his people back to him and I'm just so excited because I literally asked today for ease um, and I'm just like Lord please just place me in the hands of someone who is going to do listen to you and be obedient to you and do the work that you have put them here to do and put me place me next to somebody who can help me get to the next level and I can help them get to where they need to go you know so it's just awesome I'm excited and um, yeah God is doing some amazing things and I'm grateful y'all I'm grateful but oh my god I'm looking all right it's red lip it's looking nice take a little picture but I'm at work y'all I just got here 20 minutes early you know we love to be a little early so I'm about to listen to a little music get in the mindset of being here because I really don't want to be here but I'm gonna get in the mindset of be, wanting to be here um, and yes because I have to be I need to be in a good spirit so that I can give somebody else that energy because today has been a very good day from start to finish went to the gym at my little ramen house clean met somebody that's from my hometown and yeah God is good so I gotta spread the goodness of the Lord honey and I can't be in no bad mood so let me get yeah, I'm not in a bad mood, but let me get in the mood to want to be here. But all right, y'all, BRB. We home, y'all, we home. Ah! Work was cool. I stopped at the World Market on my lunch. I got a ride home today. One of my coworkers took me home. But I got some more Indomie. I'm gonna try this flavor. It is the special chicken flavor. I've never tried this flavor, but it's not chicken in here. It's just like a flavor. So there's actually no chicken. So it is um, vegan. And then I got my absolute favorite flavor, the barbecue chicken. Y'all, this flavor is so good. I don't know what nobody says. And I got, and I know I lied earlier. I said it was like $1.29 a pack. It's actually $3.99 a pack. But it's $3.99 for five of them. So I got two of those. And I'm actually not even hungry. I'm actually very tired, sleepy my hair y'all braiding my own hair still kind of look a little fresh but i'm actually just tired because i have to get up in the morning and go to work and do it all over again so i'm working early tomorrow um so yeah y'all let me get in the shower and get ready for bed and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit um yeah i'm gonna talk to y'all but in the meantime, in between time, let me get in the shower and get this makeup off. BRB. We back. Y'all, my little orchid is finally dying. And it's because it is summertime and I have the air blowing and the air is blowing right there. And my little orchid is right here so it's just getting nothing but cold air and it's like girl i don't like this cold air but i don't have anywhere else to put it because i don't have much furniture yet but i'm about to start getting furniture i have to stop being so indecisive and now i'm about to start saving my little money up because i ain't getting this rental car every week so i'm gonna have a little piece of extra piece of change um but yeah work was cool
But yes, work was cool today. I had a really But yes, work was cool today. Um, I had a, a really good day. Went by kind of fast. Tomorrow, hopefully it goes by kind of fast. Um, but yes, I'm so excited for my weekend. Tomorrow's hump day, hump day. But um, so I am now officially the only one in my friend group that's single. No, he would. But I'm not tripping. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. I'm dating the Lord right now. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Dating the Lord right now. And we're going to see how that goes, you know. Y'all know I've been celibate for a very long time, like over a year. Um, well, abstinence, I don't know what it's called. Celibate abstinence, I ain't been popping this thing open. Um, in over a year. And I'm not even really, like, dating nobody. I'm not dating nobody. I'm not going out on dates. I'm not doing none of that. Um, I've been taking myself out on dates every Friday. And I've been doing that for the past three Fridays. And it's been kind of cool. It's been really cool. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm seriously just chilling because the next relationship that I get in, get in, it's going to be a serious relationship and I want to love somebody. I want to love on somebody. I want them to love on me, but I want them to be loving on God too. I want God to be first in my man's life. I want God to be first in his life. I want him to be financially stable because baby, I ain't trying to work. <laughs> No, I'm going to be working, but I'm going to be working on my own thing, but not physically going into a job and having a clock in. No. Um, but, yeah, y'all. I'm patiently waiting for that. I was kind of like, sort of kind of dating somebody, but I told him that I wanted to take it slow. And y'all know what this N-I-G-G-A did? He went back to his ex-girlfriend. Which was a sign from the Lord above that I didn't even need to get serious with this man. I didn't even need to take it any further with him because he's never, as long as I've known him, he's never been single. He's always jumped from relationship to relationship, from relationship to relationship. And when you do that, you don't really know who you are. You don't really know what you like. You don't really know how to be alone. If you can't be alone, I really can't be with you. Because if you cannot be alone with yourself that's that ain't good and i've been alone for quite some time now and i'm okay with being alone do i want to be alone no but am i okay with being alone i'm not just going to be rushing into things and jumping from next the relationship to relationship to relationship because that ain't how it works um so i've been i've taking the time to get to know myself look myself in the mirror and deal with my deep darkest parts of myself because we all have it i've been able to you know deal with that and when you deal with that it's go time baby it's go time so yeah told the man i wanted to take it slow because he was just like rushing into things and i'm like hold on now we gotta take our time you know but he didn't want to take his time. He just wanted to be in a relationship so bad, I guess. So he went back to his ex-girlfriend. And that's cool. You know, I wish them both nothing but the best of luck. I actually pray for them. And I want them to get married. I want them to have kids. I want them to be extremely happy. You know, that just went my man. And that's okay. <laughs> that is okay. I am patiently waiting for my man, a man that is sure of me. If I say I want to take it slow, he's going to take it slow because I am who he wants. And what's the rush? You know, because he's working towards getting me and we working towards being together. So, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying here? 
But um, I don't even know how I got into that. But yes, I am the only one that's single out of my friends group, friend group. So both of my girls are booed up, flewed out, and here I am at work. <laughs> no, but it's not a bad thing. I'm not tripping. Um, but I am about to call it a night. So I think I will see you guys. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to call it a night. I'm going to bed. So I will see y'all in the morning. Hopefully I can get up and go to the gym before I go to work. We'll see. But I'll see y'all tomorrow.